Welcome back. It's Samoan Heritage Week in Hawaii. And to celebrate, a days-long festival is being held at Ke'ehi Lagoon Beach Park. That's right. I stopped by to learn more about Hawaii's relationship with the Samoan Islands. In Samoan culture, important occasions begin with an ancient ritual where guests of honor share a ceremonial beverage made from the ava plant. To open Samoan Heritage Week, the governors of Hawaii and American Samoa took part in the solemn tradition and shared messages of talofa. The ceremony kicked off an annual celebration with an important purpose. Basically focus on youth and the culture and our language, uh, the Samoan way of life. Especially to remind the parents uh, that we need to speak Samoan to their children and their young ones. So, like I said, there's no language, there's no culture. Some 40,000 Samoans live in Hawaii, about 3% of the state's population. Many come from the U.S. territory, others trace their roots to the independent nation of Samoa. Hawaii be becomes our second home uh, for the many of us. A second home where Samoans are active in every facet, including education, sports, healthcare, spirituality, economic development, politics, and national security. More Samoans serve in the U.S. military as a people and by a percentage than any other group, which means their commitment to America is incredible. They are central to everything that we believe is right about the cultural exchange and the cultural integrity of Hawaii. Samoan delicacies like taro baked underground, taro leaves in coconut juice, barbecue, and of course, turkey tails. It's who we are, it's where we come from, it's our ancestors, something that we should take pride in. And most importantly, because we live outside of Samoa, it's an opportunity to tap into our community, bring awareness, meet one another, mingle, and also to educate our children locally here of our culture. Customs the community hopes will live on.